Hello and welcome to MBKM Models, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and follow for more aircraft documentaries and model build videos. The de Havilland Canada DHC-2 Beaver is a single-engine high-wing propeller-driven short takeoff and landing STOL, aircraft developed and manufactured by de Havilland Canada. It has been primarily operated as a bush plane and has been used for a wide variety of utility roles, such as cargo and passenger hauling, aerial application, crop dusting and aerial top dressing, and civil aviation duties. Shortly after the end of the Second World War, de Havilland Canada decided to orient itself towards civilian operators. Based on feedback from pilots, the company decided that the envisioned aircraft should have excellent STOL performance, all metal construction, and accommodate many features sought by the operators of Bush planes. On the 16th of August 1947, the maiden flight of the aircraft, which had received the designation DHC-2 Beaver, took place. In April 1948, the first production aircraft was delivered to the Ontario Department of Lands and Forests, a Royal New Zealand Air Force, RNZAF. Beaver played a supporting role in Sir Edmund Hillary's famous 1958 Commonwealth Transantarctic Expedition to the South Pole. In addition to its use in civilian operations, the Beaver has been widely adopted by armed forces as a utility aircraft. The United States Army purchased several hundred aircraft. Nine DHC-2s are still in service with the U.S. Air Force Auxiliary, Civil Air Patrol, for search and rescue. By 1967, over 1,600 Beavers had been constructed prior to the closure of the original assembly line. The Beaver's versatility and performance led to it being the preferred aircraft of Bush pilots servicing remote locations in the Canadian North, and it is considered by aviation historians to be a Canadian icon. In 1987, the Canadian Engineering Centennial Board named the DHC-2 one of the top 10 Canadian engineering achievements of the 20th century. The Royal Canadian Mint honoured the aircraft on a special edition Canadian quarter in November 1999 and on a 50-cent commemorative gold coin in 2008. Large numbers continue to be operational into the 21st century while the tooling and type certificate for the Beaver have been acquired by Viking Air who continue to produce replacement components and refurbish examples of the type. Following the end of the Second World War, de Havilland Canada's management team, recognizing that there would be a corresponding downturn in military orders in the immediate post-war climate, decided to focus the company's energies upon finding work within the civilian sector. The company had recently hired Punch Dickens as Director of Sales, Dickens carried out an extensive market research program in the form of requesting and collecting feedback from other pilots, to understand what they needed in a new aircraft. It was on the basis of this information from the prospective operators themselves, as opposed to aerodynamic research or fiscal data, that the future aircraft had its origins. Initial sales were slow perhaps two or three a month but as the plane was demonstrated sales started to improve. A key event in the Beaver's history occurred the next year when the U.S. Army commenced its search for a new utility aircraft to replace their fleet of Cessnas. The competition quickly boiled down to the Beaver and the Cessna 195. The Beaver won and during the Korean War, the U.S. Army ordered 970, more than half of the overall production run for the type. Soon the Beaver grew to become an export success as orders for the type increased from customers around the world. Individual military services of more than 30 different nations would ultimately be included amongst its operators. In later life, as the type was gradually phased out of military service, many examples underwent conversion works so that they could continue to be operated as civilian aircraft instead. During the 1960s, de Havilland developed an improved model of the Beaver, the Mark III Turbo Beaver, which was equipped with a Pratt & Whitney Canada PT-6 turboprop engine. A total of 60 aircraft were built during the late 1960s. In 1967, when production of the type finally ceased, a total of 1,657 DHC-2 Beavers had been constructed. Despite the fact that production ceased in 1967, 
Hundreds of beavers are still flying many of them heavily modified to adapt to changes in technology and needs. Ken Morare of Kenmore, Washington, provides beaver and otter rare frames with zero-hour fatigue life ratings, and owns dozens of supplemental type certificates. SDCs, for aircraft modifications. These modifications are so well known and desirable in the aviation community. Rebuilt beavers are often called Kenmore beavers or listed as having Kenmore mods installed. The original Wasp JR radial engine of the beaver is long out of production, so repair parts are getting harder to find. Some aircraft conversion stations have addressed this problem by replacing the piston engine with a turboprop engine such as the PT-6. The added power and lighter installed weight together with greater availability of kerosene fuel instead of high-octane aviation gasoline, make this a desirable modification, but at a high cost. The Beaver was deployed by the British Army Air Corps during the Troubles, at least until 1979, for photo reconnaissance missions. One of them was hit seven times by machine gun fire in South County Armagh, near the border with the Republic of Ireland in November 1979. While taking photos of an IRA checkpoint, the border crossing where the action took place became known to the British Army as Beaver Junction. Operators of significant numbers of piston beavers in early 2008 include Air Seguin and Harbour Air in Canada and Ken Morair in the US. American actor Harrison Ford owns a DHC-2 beaver he is known for referring to it as being his favorite among his entire fleet of private aircraft. The Civil Air Patrol operated many of the DHC-2 beavers, where it was commonly used for conducting search and rescue missions. For some decades, the United States Navy has operated a pair of DHC-2s at the United States Naval Test Pilot School where they are used to instruct students in the evaluation of lateral directional flying qualities and for the towing of gliders. In recent years growing numbers of the type have been used within the leisure industry, being used for pleasure flights and as lifting platforms for skydiving and aerial film activities. The DHC-2 Beaver has been used by skydiving operators due to its good climb rate. When fitted with a roller door that can be opened in flight, it can quickly ferry eight skydivers to 13,000 feet, 4,000 meters. Thanks for watching, thanks for listening and until next time.